Let's talk about dogs. The punk scene is a major influence, both aesthetically and thematically, in the graphic novel Maggie the Mechanic by Jaime Hernandez. One of the main characters, Esperanza Hopi Glass, plays in an all-female punk band, while the rest of our cast of characters are sporting leather and cropped jet black hair. Yet the novel also echoes the frustrations of womanhood, a rebellion against gender binaries that speaks to an era of the punk movement known as Riot Girl. Prior to the 1990s, much of the punk rock and alternative scene was dominated by snarling men in mohawks with safety pins through their lips. At male-dominated concerts, patriarchy ruled as female fans and aspiring musicians were ridiculed, assaulted, harassed, and generally disregarded by their male peers. If punk was meant to be a rejection of social norms and expectations, why was it mirroring the misogyny and chauvinism of mass culture? The Riot Girl movement was a response to this contradiction, a reclamation of the punk scene by women and for women. The purpose was to create something self-directed, to fiercely proclaim one's own identity in her own terms. The women of the movement refused to hold back. Their vicious, tongue-in-cheek lyrics dealt with topics such as violence, rape, self-esteem, and sexism, mixing social commentary and personal reflection with guttural vocal performances and screeching guitars. While bands such as Bikini Kill, Bratmobile, Heavens to Betsy, and Slater Kinney made strides with the onstage movement, a subculture developed rapidly, marked by picket signs, protest marches, and the publication of self-produced, pocket-sized magazines called zines. The artwork featured in zines is cartoonish and high contrast, often playing with pinup proportions and classic feminine features, reflecting a style that, in many ways, is akin to Hernandez's. But it's not just that the women of Riot Girl and the Locas Tambien of Hernandez are drawn the same. Far beyond that, they share a kindred spirit of feminine rebellion and ferocity. They are both messy and destructive, disrupting binaries and dismantling the status quo. They are angry and they are dangerous. As the Riot Girl movement deconstructed and reconfigured the punk scene, the female-fronted Love and Rocket series similarly subverts a male-dominated medium toppling the expectation that a graphic novel, a comic book, will follow a male hero as he saves the day and gets the girl. Yet the male figures of the novel are not the focal point. In fact, there are chapters where men are entirely absent, panel after panel. This is not their story to tell. Instead, we find a cast of women relying on other women for guidance, for sex, for friendship, for power, and ultimately, for love. Because I believe with my whole heart, mind, body that girls constitute a revolutionary soul force that can and will change the world for real.